good morning bande matram welcome all of you here in this session we are going to have a uh, discussion on crystallize your thoughts that is the advice of uh, the mother explanation from the mother very good advice crystallize your thought most of the time we use the word crystal a uh, be a crystal clear in your thoughts uh, like you know the so far this uh, crystal is clear crystal is concerned crystallization is concerned we must uh, think um, of this um, optimum purity that crystallization must be there so that uh, your clarity your thought process everything will be clear as a crystal so mother's advice on this aspect is that uh, you uh, crystallize your thoughts that is what uh, the required um, uh, point of discussion right now crystallize your thoughts mother quotes uh, now will uh, quote from the mother finally will try to conclude with uh, sri aurobindo the master the use uh, mother starts uh, with this um, uh, um, remarks the useful usefulness of work is nothing else uh, but uh, to crystallize this uh, mental power all we know you know whatever thought is coming everything is uh, a mental phenomenon um, everything everything almost is a mental phenomenon so this um, um, thoughts uh, gets concentrated gets crystallized gets clear according to your um, progress of consciousness so thing is that it is a mental work um, for that your mother course usefulness work is nothing else uh, but uh, crystallization uh, of mental power for this what we have to do you have to learn unless you put it in the practice by some work or deeper studies for that actually crystallize your thought means how it is possible you have got your thought and uh, as you are progressing up you are moving up this uh, thoughts is actually getting um, saturated it is getting mature so for that actually you have to practice in um, <clears throat> physically you have to make the practice or you have to go for deeper studies without this how can you uh, utilize your maximum utilization because without study and without practice you have got the thought process is up to a limit suppose you are in the home you have got your own fundamental thoughts and uh, feelings when you move up when you when you mix with people when you try to um, uh, visit some um, auspicious places some uh, dignified persons you meet on the way you talk to them you have your discussion with them naturally you get a broader there is no doubt of it practice and uh, some deeper studies half of you half what you know half of what you learn at least will vanish disappear with time quite obvious suppose uh, you are going for college for study or whatever you are doing no it has got its limits suppose your graduation means at, at best by 20 years you will complete up so for some time maybe 2 3 years 5 4, four 5 years it will be in your memory and as you will be getting older as the time will be um, elapsing as you will be uh, crossing moving away so you will be forgetting the things uh, most of the things will be disappearing or vanishing but uh, it will leave behind one thing for the course not all no, no thing will be perishing vanishing it will be uh, disappearing but one thing will be left there the capacity of crystallizing your thought the great thing mother has uh, quoted and uh, kept the um, person before us to consider and to really without crystallization we can't progress here so mother quotes um, uh, one thing uh, you uh, it will leave behind that is uh, the capacity of crystallizing the thought making something clear of it already we have discussed its capacity of uh, crystallizing your thought uh, making something clear out of it making something clear out of it already uh, the in the very gist very beginning we have crossed now uh, we have uh, discussed that uh, clarity must be there something precise exact and organized that is what you will be suppose somebody will say uh, when i was i began um, what i was now after finishing this is the same point i am reaching 
means in the beginning i had no, learned nothing knew nothing i have to explore nothing now at the conclusion in conclusion i explored a lot i met with so many studies i practiced i went to university i had some job experience and all and finally after some time when i found everything is disappeared mother course yeah okay it, it nothing you have gained and you have lost but thing is that very clear that nothing has been fully lost fully lost something is left that is the capacity of crystallizing your thought and uh, second marbling uh, making something uh, clear out of it whatever is crystallized making something clear out of it and third something precise exact organized and this is the true usefulness of work uh, to organize your um, a cerebral capacity uh, unless you are you practice you um, put into action you, you effectuate it Uh, your cerebral capacity will never go so even if it is coming and disappearing with the time and uh, but the thing is that one thing will be left and that will organize your cerebral capacity it will bring you your thought um, very much clear crystallize your thought make you um, very bring out something clear out of it something precise exact and organized finally you would find some useless usefulness of work whatever you are doing and uh, to organize your cerebral capacity now i'm going to explain when you have understood something when you have really understood understanding it is not it is also a relative term but somehow you have gone through it somehow you have made it in uh, very much uh, clear in your um, mind um, understood it forms a little crystal in you when a thing is uh, understood you have not gone to a form across you have not gone to you have not uh, practiced so that is a different issue you are at the zero when you have practiced you have studied you have learned you are um, uh, you have uh, even you know understood something that is means um, a little uh, crystal in you that is what like a little um, shining point after this torch is there like a uh, crystal little crystal in you like a shining point initially it was not there but once you have understood you have to go through you have to adventure mm, uh, adventure likely you will find a shining point a crystal in you and when you have put it um, in many 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 of these then you will begin to be uh, intelligent initially when you study you int- uh, practice you understand there is only a point and again again and again you recite them word for word time to time you keep um, ceaselessly you continue then actually you will be uh, touching the point of intelligence you will be you will begin to be intelligent this is the unity of work this is the unity of work not simply to stop the head with the heap of things which take you nowhere something is there Well, money is like a moth, not good except to be spread. Uh, if you spread that, uh, that will create fertility. It will bring, it will develop the power of uh, growing growth. So you will get more outcome. But if it is simply stored and the metal without any food, if you can't be able to uh, crystallize it, actually um, um, recircle it, then it has got no value. so again and again if you keep practicing if you keep understanding that point that point that shining point um, uh, grows increases in elevated and uh, from the point of uh, nothing you get intelligent and this is the process utility this is the utility of work but with this work we you are getting utilizing and you are getting the result and this is this um, out of mother course series not simply the to stop the head with the heap of things that is simply lazy for falling uh, like anything and that take you nowhere but here you are going progressing that is getting the utility of work again mother is having a beautiful observation one soul way of thinking thinking um, that is a mental phenomenon already we have discussed we have understood but uh, thinking in a one in a one soul way of thinking simply imitating means you are making suicide you are imitating thinking so you have got the, the cerebrum you have got the cerebral um, capacity to think of unless otherwise you are uh, utilizing it simply um, like a manure here or putting uh, like a heap um, uh, of things uh, simply you are not um, getting utilized it has got no value so try to uh, think 
in on your own way one's own way of thinking mother tries to clarify um, in her own terms beautifully one needs years of uh, very attentive very careful very reasonable very coherent work organization selection and uh, you know construction in order to succeed simply in affirming uh, simply this little thing one uh, one's own way of uh, working that is the, that is what for really one's own way of thinking it is not a not, not an easy process suppose uh, you are living in a in your own way you are working on your own style you are living on your own style you are running on your own own uh, way playing playing cricket in your own way or doing um, taking food on your own way that is not a one day process it is a continuous process ceaseless process you keep continuing you keep making the habits you organize yourself again and again you fail then also you try to do it and it is not whatever you have achieved and now that is not also the final point you have reached you have to still struggle on you have to go ahead mother quotes i will try to quote it again one needs years of very years not one or two days or months years um, of very attentive number 1 very careful number 2 very reasonable number 3 very coherent work then organization selection construction in order to what is the purpose to succeed simply in forming means creating your little thing one way of thinking it is the years of matter many ways you have to very carefully very attentively reasonably coherently you are doing the organization work selection work construction work then only success comes you have uh, now you are at the point uh, that is uh, simply you are in the path uh, means you are maintaining your own way of uh, thinking not one day process not uh, imit one time even sometimes uh, you feel i have succeeded suppose you have to stand on a walk many times uh, people have tried but somebody somebody who comes he knows knows not the path simply walks for walking sake he walks and travels and moves and uh, gets the success that is a different that is by chance nor a great work but thing is that for the normal reason it is the reason is like this yet it needs years one believes he has his own way of thinking that that belief is that my own way was of thinking my own way of doing my own way of playing my own way of missing with missing mixing with people my own way of leading life that is what one thinks like him like that not at all it depends totally upon the people one speaks with or um, uh, the um, books he has read he is making mixing with some people he is um, going through some books or reading some books or mood he is in like that he is getting handled i like that he is actually moving forward it depends also on whether you have a good or bad digestion depends how you have digested how fast you have digested how long how minutely you have digested good or bad digestion it depends whether you are shut up in a room without a proper ventilation or whether you are in the open air depends that experience that practice from you gather from whether you are sat in a room or you are in the open space whether it is a good digestion or whether it is a bad digestion it depends upon whether you are a view you have a beautiful landscape before you it depends whether um, the sunshine or the actually what is the type of surrounding atmosphere so that you have not something you have not answered of it um, but uh, you think all kinds of things completely different according to a heap of things which is nothing to do with you questions are uh, numberless you know situations are numberless environment is uh, helpful or uh, contrary that depends how you have gone how you have understood how you have studied how you have methodized everything in your life practiced in your life all things depend on the that aspect of that way so mother course finally and uh, for that to become a coordinated coherent logical thought a long through work is necessary not it is a days process or a weeks process it needs it has needs it is a long work long 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 logical mother course uh, for this a coordinated coherent and a logical thought a long through work is necessary rome was not at all built in a day that's what you have to take care 
anyway we will uh, go for sea roping do and uh, try to but thing is that that must be there crystal clear thought will be there and you will be having um, experience practice and you will be gathering and uh, the crystallization uh, that exists and more of uh, and more you try you will be succeeding in on your own way anyway we are trying to conclude from a couple of lines from yorobindu mm, thought is not essential to uh, to existence nor its cause thought not essential to existence or nor its cause but it is an instrument for becoming i become what i see in myself that is what very much required not essential for existence or not its cause you can also without thought um, something is possible provided there is a consecration uh, to the divine and it is an instrument for becoming for becoming it is an instrument i become the what i uh, see in myself that's that's what mother quoted but this year in the quoted thought can be a force which uh, realizes itself it can be a force for the process of realization so the, as you so so you reap where really you stand for with what mission you are going a thought is an arrow shot from truth it can hit the point but uh, not cover the whole target it has got its limit it has got its rule but thing is that it shots only a point but entire surface can't be covered with your thought because your thought it has got its limitation you feel my thought is omnipotent i have got a spread out view okay comparing to others or staying in ordinary consciousness you have uh, uh, grown a little bit but thing is that it is so limited it can hit a point like an arrow shot from the truth and um, shot at the truth so, but can't uh, shot, uh, cover the whole uh, target all that a thought suggests to me i can do all can thought suggest to me i can do all that a thought reveals to me um, i can become that is the difference between uh, th- between thinking and the becoming all that a thought suggest to me my thought it suggested guided so i can do like this but all that a thought reveals to me very difficult the thought who has to reveal to you it is a great and the next aspect i can become thought in the mind can at, at, at most be truth so brilliant and uh, transparent garment garment it is a robe it is a dress at best it can be like this not the your body or body with the garment it will cover up your body you will look good look beautiful but thing is that it can completely become the you know, body because it is only it has got its limitation you know but uh, if we think instead of garment if you think it is our body just imagine um, where you will be if, with, if the body is there that the uh, usefulness of robe is necessary but uh, if uh, only robe will be body then uh, how can you move how can we live all living thought in a world is a preparation whatever it is not the end it is only a, um, a preparation for real at is a thought manifested that has been manifested that is the real thing that you must take care of anyway it is a great source and the great source of uh, inspiration mother course better and the best to crystallize your thought mandai matra